Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Atif Alvi. I'm a consultant, colorectal and laparoscopic surgeon. I have uh, done my specialist training in London and I uh, finished with my uh, certificate of completion of training in FRCS in bowel cancer, inflammatory bowel disease, laparoscopic surgery and proctological disorders which are hemorrhoids, anal fissure, fistulas, palatal sinus and general surgery. The common symptoms of hemorrhoids are mainly bleeding, itchiness around the back passage, pain, swelling around the back passage, uh, discomfort, and sometimes mucus discharge. Most common causes of hemorrhoid are um, straining at stool. Um, people have constipation or diarrhea and they strain a lot which causes sagging of the hemorrhoids. Uh, the other causes is uh, sitting long in toilets and pushing which is quite common. People sit in toilet and strain a lot. The other causes are obesity, uh, pregnancy related hemorrhoids uh, and uh, diet which is low in fiber. Uh, low fiber diet and lack of hydration. Hemorrhoids are classified as in four grades. Uh, why we divide them into four grades? Because the treatment modalities are uh, different for each grade and symptoms. The grade one hemorrhoids are the ones which are small and they uh, mainly present with bleeding and sometimes itchiness. Uh, grade two hemorrhoids are the ones which uh, present with bleeding, itchiness, discomfort and swelling. Uh, grade 3 hemorrhoids are the ones which presents with bleeding, pain, itchiness, discomfort and swelling which comes out of your back passage but you can push them back in. Uh, and grade 4 hemorrhoids are the, the final grade which, is, which presents with bleeding, pain, itchiness, discomfort and the swelling which prolapses out of the back passage but doesn't go back in. Treatment of hemorrhoids is basically uh, widely dependent on the size of the hemorrhoid, that is the grading, and the symptoms which patient presents. So mostly grade 1 hemorrhoids and early stage grade 2 hemorrhoids are treated with dietary advice, which is uh, uh, plenty of fluids, hydrate yourself, food rich in high fiber, fruits, which is foods, fruits, vegetables, cereals, uh, and basically change of lifestyle. If you're obese, you can reduce the weight and if you are uh, straining at stool or lifting heavy weight, just be careful. So that's the early stages of treatment of hemorrhoids, which is like change in your lifestyle, change in your diet, uh, reduction of weight and uh, straining at stool. Uh, along with dietary change, you can use uh, topical creams, which you can buy over the counter which helps to soothe the pain and uh, reduction in symptoms. So when you come to grade 2 hemorrhoids, uh, this also is a strong impact of diet. Plus, if the diet is not helping and you've tried everything else, then the grade 2 hemorrhoids, uh, and grade, three, grade 2 and grade 3 hemorrhoids can be treated with various uh, non-invasive modalities which are uh, in, uh, sometimes called office treatment or uh, perform under local anesthetic or without any anesthesia. So these are uh, oily phenol injection, which is a freezing solution, uh, rubber band ligation of hemorrhoids, and the latest modalities we have, uh, which uh, worldwide as well as at King's Hospital is the uh, advancement of laser treatment for hemorrhoids, the Raffaello procedure, which is radiofrequency ablation, the THD, which is uh, ultrasonic detection of hemorrhoidal artery and ligation, and HALO, which is similar to THD. Uh, and eventually, uh, we have a staple hemorrhoidectomy, which is uh, for circumferential hemorrhoids, which sag out. And finally, the traditional uh, treatment of hemorrhoid for large hemorrhoids is the uh, open hemorrhoidectomy or milligan morgan hemorrhoidectomy. At King's, we have uh, introduced um, all the latest modalities of hemorrhoids. Uh, I would like to talk about the laser treatment, which is uh, nowadays uh, widely accepted and uh, a, a non-invasive uh, treatment option uh, in which there is no cut technique. Patient come in, 
on the day of procedure. Uh, this is done either under sedation or uh, under light general anesthesia. The procedure takes 15 minutes. There is no cuts in the skin. Uh, we uh, have a fine probe which is inserted into the hemorrhoid uh, plexus and uh, through the laser firing the arteries are cauterized and shrink. Um, patient go home same day. Uh, we just prescribe them some analgesia, laxatives and uh, healthy diet and then we see them in follow-up. The advantage of laser is uh, high success rate, about 85 to 90 percent uh, success rate uh, and less, less uh, symptoms of pain and less risk of recurrence. Uh, this is one of the things which we offer here at King's and we also have a radio frequency ablation which is similar mode of treatment uh, but we use the uh, same as, uh, a probe which in, goes into the hemorrhoid and we fire the radio frequency which helps to shrink the hemorrhoid in a similar type of way. Uh, uh, same here, uh, the risk of uh, pain is much less and the risk of recurrence is less. So apart from uh, laser and Rafaelo, we have also got THT and HALO procedure which is basically the fundamental principle of these two procedures is finding the hemorrhoid artery through the ultrasound probe and uh, stitching up, uh, ligating the artery uh, so that the supply into the hemorrhoids is cut off uh, which shrinks the hemorrhoids.